This movie called Bad Hair came out this weekend. When I saw the trailer for Bad Hair, it reminded me of these Asian movies that came out a few years ago that were about cursed wigs and cursed weaves. Funny thing is when I went to look for this movie, I thought that there were only two movies, one called The Wig and one called Hair Extensions. I found out there was actually three movies, one called The Wig, a second one called Hair Extensions, and the third one is also called X Hair Extensions. The Wig, aka Scary Hair, was made in South Korea. Both of the extension movies were made in Japan. So I decided to review all three movies before I watch Bad Hair. Let's start with The Wig, and I'm wearing one of my favorite wigs. My sister teases me about the way I wear my wigs because I'm a lazy wig wearer. I don't pluck the edges, I don't bleach the knots, I most of the time don't even glue them down. You can see I could just slide this one back and forth. I just put them on my head and brush or comb them and go. I think it depends on whether you want them to look real or not or how much you want them to look real. For me, I don't really care because you guys know I didn't have purple hair yesterday and I won't have purple hair tomorrow. So there's no sense in putting on airs. Anyways, let's talk about the movie. I had to hunt this down on eBay because it wasn't streaming on any services. And the copy that I got is actually from Blockbuster and doesn't have a box to it. This is what it looks like. and it's the unrated version. It's been so long since I used a DVD player, I had to set the DVD player back up again and I almost forgot how to use the remote control for it. I have a collection of DVD movies and one day I'll probably make a video about my DVD collection, but since most things are either available streaming or I have a digital copy saved on my hard drive, it's rare for me to have to actually pop a DVD into the player. That said, this movie had a beautifully haunting opening sequence. A wig is being made and, and the person sewing it sews over their finger and starts to bleed into the wig. As I said, this movie takes place in Seoul, South Korea, but there's also mentions of Busan. This movie is about a young lady who's just gone through treatment for leukemia and is given the gift of a wig when she's discharged from the hospital. Unfortunately for her, the wig is cursed. She lives with her sister who is mute. I noticed when I was watching this with the subtitles on, the translation kept on saying the sister's name every time she called her Uni, and Uni is a way to call your older sister. It's like saying sis, but it's specifically for the older sister because it's a distinction of respect, which I kind of wish that we had in the United States because I'm the oldest of my sisters and I think I should be the Uni. My middle sister told me that she's not going to call me Uni because, quote, you were barely out of diapers when I was born. Technically, I was potty trained and in preschool when she was born, but still. My middle sister still speaks to me like she's my older sister, though. And my younger stepsister never asked for my advice. I might know some stuff. I still have my youngest baby sister who still respects me. Anyway, like I said, this young lady's wig is haunted. And I really like that concept because sometimes objects carry a negative energy. I wonder sometimes if anyone ever wore weave and had bad luck because of what the original owner of that hair went through. Which is yet another reason to wear synthetic hair. Wearing human hair is slightly creepy when you really think about it, especially when you hear about things like there was a rash of hair stealing, what would you call it, hair thievery, hair thieves? There was a rash of hair thieves in Brazil where like girls would go to the movie theater and someone would just come up behind them and cut their ponytail off. That's bad mojo on the hair. 
and don't get it twisted I've worn human hair before back in the 90s I, I had weave with some tracks in there I used to do um, the quick ponytails that's when you go and you buy the track hair and you put your hair in a bun and then you wrap it around your bun and then secure it with bobby pins and that's your quick ponytail for the summer that was my go-to back in the 90s back then I used to use human hair and didn't think much of it at all this movie will make you think twice about where the hair comes from the mystery in this movie unfolds like layers of an onion being peeled back which is why I'm being deliberately vague it's shot beautifully the color is a little bit washed out but not to the point where it would annoy me the scare scenes are very well planned out and there's some perfectly executed and very effective jump scares the gore is superb especially this one scene that involves pills and a bald head I was not expecting that there's one sequence where the wig is moving on its own and that one didn't age particularly well but it got the point across be forewarned that this story is tragic and does not necessarily have a happy ending but if you've seen South Korean horror you'll notice that there usually is drama interweaved within the horror and I like that this movie came out in 2005 and then shortly thereafter extension came out in 2007 in Japan and then EXT extension came out in Japan 2014 I didn't watch them in chronological order so I'm gonna pair this movie with the 2014 version of hair extension and I'll be right back to tell you more about that I know you didn't think I was going to review a movie called Hair Extensions without actually having hair extensions. I paired this with the wig because it's also about cursed hair. Right now I'm going to talk about the 2014 version of Hair Extension that is available on Tubi. There's also a movie by the same name that came out in 2007 that is also a Japanese movie, but this is not a remake of that one. This has a great and to the point opening sequence. I like how they got right to the point. And the movie jumps into full gear. But then suddenly it has this really long title sequence. I wondered why this title sequence was dragging on so long and then I noticed that this film was only one hour and ten minutes long. So I think they padded out the runtime with the title sequence. This is a very simple story. It is about a trainee at a hair salon who encounters some cursed hair. Everyone that gets that cursed weave gets messed up. This is not shot on film, it's shot on video, but they made the most of it. The framing was pretty good and the lighting was alright. Not great, just alright. It could have been much, much better for the scare scenes though. So not the best movie, but all right for the most part. The score was a standard hard score and it worked pretty well. What shined the most in this was the creativity and the practical effects. There were great, great practical effects, especially for them to look so good on video. I really like this movie. It's not great, but it made me create another level on my rating system. Remember I had the three levels because I felt like there's too many binary thinking in the movie review community where everything is either amazing or it's trash and I said that some things are just mediocre. This is above mediocre so I will call it I. At an hour and 10 minutes this was very short to the point movie. I was not bored by it. It was ultra low budget. They only really had three sets they reused and they did a good job reusing those three sets. That said I will be reviewing the other movie called Hair Extension and Bad Hair. So stay tuned for those reviews. Did you see the wig, aka scary hair, or hair extensions? Did it make you think twice about wearing human hair? Let me know in the comments. But like I always say, don't take my word for it. Just because I love something doesn't mean you won't hate it. Just because I hate something doesn't mean you won't love it. Bye.